Now, uh, one of my teenagers is at Leeds Festival at the moment. I haven't heard from him, Elizabeth, since the storm hit. I have sent a text, but it has been uh, not replied to as yet. But I think things are calming down, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. Storm Lillian, of course, caused a lot of disruption with some particularly blustery winds yesterday. Um, it's still going to be windy this weekend, but not as windy. Storm Lillian has, of course, now cleared our shores, but there will be quite a lot of rain around, and that's mostly towards the south today. But I think most of us are going to track a, a gradual improvement as we head through the weekend. Of course, it's a bank holiday weekend for many of us. Good morning to you at home as well. Now, Storm Lillian brought us some very strong gusty winds yesterday, gusting as high as 60 to 70 miles an hour. It's cleared away now, but it has been a rather wet and a windy night. And in fact, there's still a lot of rain across many parts of England at the moment through South Wales as well. Bit of a contrasting start, though, further north and west where we've got some brightness and some sunshine. So if we take a look at the rest of the weekend, a bank holiday weekend, of course, for some of us, not for all of us, it's not in Scotland. Um, there is some rain around for some of us at times, but a gradually improving picture as we head into what is Bank Holiday Monday. And it's been pretty blustery for many parts of the country, but it looks a bit more settled behind you there, Elizabeth. <laughs> Absolutely right, Rachel. Yes, it is less windy today, but it is still quite breezy for the time of year, I have to say, and temperatures will be below the average. It's going to be a day of sunshine and showers for most of us. Already some showers across parts of Northern Ireland, but elsewhere it has been a bright start to the day. Well, thank you very much, Charlie. Good morning again. Yes, it's still going to be windy today. Not as windy as it was yesterday, of course, with Storm Lillian. We saw gusts of wind of 60 to 70 miles an hour, but still blustery and still cool for the time of year. It's going to be a day for many of us of sunshine and showers. Good afternoon. For some of us, it has not been the brightest of starts to the weekend, and that is putting it mildly. In fact, some places have had a very soggy Saturday. So far, that was how it looked on the seafront in Hove. Hello there, very good afternoon to you. It's been a very wet start to the bank holiday weekend across much of the UK with very heavy rain lashing southeastern parts in particular. Hello there, very good evening to you. Well, it wouldn't be a bank holiday weekend with it with some outbreaks of rain and some of that has been fairly persistent through much of today. We're going to see some fairly fine weather over the coming few days with some dry, bright and sunny spells as we work towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures peaking once again in the mid to upper 20s as the winds fall light and from the southeast. Hello there. It's been a largely disappointing start to the bank holiday weekend with some heavy showers out there. The general setup for the next few days is, well, frankly, a case of more of the same. Good evening to you. It's been a disappointing start to the bank holiday weekend, that's for sure, with that heavy rain earlier. But it is clearing away now and behind it for the rest of the bank holiday weekend. It is drier and it'll warm up a little bit too. Hello there. Manchester and Old Trafford saw some of the best weather today. We don't often say that. But... Hello. Saturday turned into a decidedly soggy affair for some of us, at least. This was the scene during Saturday morning on the seafront in Hove with cloud with a lot of rain. But that wasn't the whole story. Brighter conditions further north and west. That was how it looked in Powys.